Hello and what's up Madlang people! You might have seen already the video about this speaker uh, that my son and I um, tried to assemble. Uh, it took us probably an hour or less than two hours to assemble this one. But today, I'm going to experiment and use this as a portable guitar amplifier. And look how slim is this one see it's just about the size of my zoom g14 it can be just kept in a gig bag and then this one comes with a like mp3 uh, lead or cable but it's a bit short um, let's open it so I got a longer one and we'll be using this instead. Also, we'll be using this um, the adapter so that we can use this to the Zoom G14 as this output converts into a headphone output. This is also a stereo uh, input. So it's perfect um, um, match. But first, I wanted to try if we plug the guitar directly without the Zoom G14 and if it's going to work. Because on my previous video, on my old video where I use my JBL Flip, and a lot of you guys thought that I can just um, plug it in straight to the um, JBL Flip. And I use my Zoom G1X on. So this is a lot cheaper than the JBL Flip. Plus um, we can try and connect the guitar directly to this one. Okay. So let's set up and show it to you guys. Okay, as you've heard guys, um, it worked, uh, even though this is a stereo, for some reason it worked with my DIY um, Starry Night Strat copy. So our next step, we are going to use this one, the Zoom G14, or you can uh, buy the Zoom G1 on, which is a lot cheaper than this one. And it will work the same way as what we're going to be doing now. So let's just set up and try it on.
So that's it guys. Um, it worked. Um, I think because this is cardboard and this is not uh, like totally closed because um, I, I don't want it to be like a permanent thing in, in case the battery will run out. I can easily change the battery. And probably if um, this was built in a more solid um, um, box, like for example a plastic or if you're really good with um, wood and then make a bit of a uh, small or tiny cabinet, this will really sound decent I think. Um, yeah, I think instead of buying that expensive um, Marshall Fender Vox or Blackstar mini amp, this one is like a simple solution. Obviously, it will not sound as good as those uh, branded ones. But I just bought this for £10, spent about less than two hours. And I got myself a portable speaker. Um, yeah, um, the downside is about the electronics. You have to learn something. And I like that. I, I picked up something about this. Um, and it's probably a start of a bigger project. So um, start small and think big. Right, what else do I need to say? Oh yeah, initially, the plan for this is to buy an earphone, uh, um, mini earphone amplifier, which is also cheap, about maybe less than £20. And if you combine uh, that earphones out, which you will use this lead, because this is like an earphone lead, it's an mp3 lead, plug it to that... Um, headphones or earphones amplifier a mini amp and then from there instead of headphones use this one and connect it here and you got your amplifier a complete set you can buy um, loads of that um, mini um, headphone amps there's a clean one there's a crunch one there's a lead one you can even buy the branded one, but it's it's a bit expensive. I think the Vox uh, headphone amp is like thirty pounds. So, but then um, that's that was the plan initially. This one worked without any earphone amps. So that's it, guys. For now, hope you picked up something with this setup. Oh, by the way, before we end. Um, to those who are new to my channel, um, please subscribe, hit that notification bell so you get notified each time I'm posting videos. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.